Hello and welcome again to another quick uh, scenario and demonstration of HP ArcSight Logger 6.0 uh, and a use case. Uh, in this particular use case we're going to talk about uh, what we consider to be uh, a good example of uh, what we call an application development use case. So uh, again let me log into the system to uh, have a look at some of the options and capabilities that we can provide as part of this. So uh, there's actually a huge amount that we can do and, uh, and it's often uh, <laughs> missed that there are a, a whole set of functionality and features that we can use to address uh, some of the requirements that can assist in an application development environment and uh, how we can display and, and show some of the log data accordingly across systems and applications. Um, so we could just we're collecting some log data from our from our various systems we could just quickly go to uh, our search capability and uh, we can just run a search for RAA now that's going to display a whole bunch of uh, logs in fact actually we can see this uh, three three thousand eight hundred to be precise uh, and it's actually from the Ruby application archive capability uh, we can see there's a whole lot of information and lots and lots of data accordingly um, and that's really useful but uh, there's all the the, the the fields here displayed uh, and what we actually have is we have a functionality called uh, field set so we can just display the fields that are relevant to what we're interested in so uh, we have some field sets set up for showing uh, this with, with regards to our particular use case here so it drastically reduces the fields that we have for, for view in fact actually in this case we only have these ones for view you know, there's no scroll bar that's displayed here so we can see there's a whole a whole set of data uh, the important thing here is is actually it should be noted that we've got uh, not only a very long uh, fields for some of the the data here in fact the actual message itself uh, but they are actually multi-line supported as well so uh, this is data that would have come in on a multi-line log and we can read and process that uh, store that accordingly and have very long line uh, information as part of the field as well so it's it's worth noting that as, as uh, a relevant information here as well uh, of course what the system is doing as I'm as I'm running over the mouse uh, it's actually picking out keywords and information so I could actually just click and drill down and see what that is and see what the relevance is so in, in this case we've actually got 5,000 events here but what, I, what I'm actually interested in is just as a very quick scenario I'm interested in all the errors that I'm receiving within my application itself so actually if I just click the the error uh, link um, option there it actually automatically populates the search for me now so I got the RRA uh, and now and and device severity and now it actually contains the error information and now we can see uh, a lot more detail around the actual error messages and what's occurring as well so that's actually very useful and, and relevant information to have but of course wouldn't it be really quite useful to understand a little bit more around uh, what's actually going on so uh, we've actually got some defined what we call filters and searches to, do, to, to look at some of this data and actually got one called uh, demo app dev here so we just uh, click load uh, and then do the go for that one so again we're just looking for RIA we're passing that to the top chart capabilities we're doing the, the, the top information is there uh, and then we're just doing it by the severity so we can now see that most of our information is uh, logs uh, is info uh, and then we can see some errors in fact actually we see one 404 there as well so we can actually click and drill down and, and see further information around that uh, of course what we could do is we can actually export some of this data as well so we can export the actual log data itself there that goes with that or, or actually we could even just look at changing some of the how we want to chart it uh, and even uh, from there actually exporting the, the chart itself uh, to show some overall statistics of what's actually going on and so on and save some of that data so as I said, very quick scenario and run through some of the key capabilities and functionalities that you would look to consider when using something like uh, HP ArcSight Logger 6.0 uh, with the application use case uh, of, of how we could address things like multi-line logs, display those, and how we can manipulate searching accordingly. So with that, thank you very much for your time.